Hi, my name is Dwight Gillespie, and you are watching Change Your Life with Dwight Gillespie. Ironic, isn't it? Uh, I'd like to thank you for tuning in today. This, at this on this channel, we uh, discuss just uh, things you can do to live a better life, to uh, to enjoy your life more, and to get more out of it. And um, part of that is is to try to help you to not do stupid things. <laughs> and we do that by reviewing the really stupid things that I've done in my life, so that you don't have to do them. I've done them for you. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like, share it with your friends, comment down below, do all that good stuff. Even if you hate it, you can still do all those things. I'd be more than happy. And we can discuss it later, actually. You can make comments and, and we can talk about it. Um, if you like it too, make make comments. If there's things that you'd like to see, make comments on that too. I, I'd be more than more than uh, curious to see what you think and what, what, what subjects you'd like to see covered on our channel. You may be familiar with the other work that we do, which is uh, the uh, uh, Trash TV Review. You may want to check that out. It's uh, another channel, very different than this one. If you're adverse to uh, bad language, uh, don't bother. Anyway, all right. So we're going to talk uh, this week, we're going to talk about uh, rebellion and, uh, and and how good and bad rebellion can be. I was in a meeting last night. As I, I I do a recovery, pro I'm in a 12-step recover recovery program. And, um, you know, and I go to a lot of recovery meetings. And most of my friends at this point, you know, as it's, uh, I mentioned in the last video, I think I just celebrated 10 years uh, being, being clean and, uh, free and clean of drugs and, uh, alcohol is a drug and, um, but it's been 10 years. Um, but the, the topic was, it was an interesting one. And, and, you know, I'm of the belief that, that we all have these issues and, and, you know, uh, me, I, I had a problem with drug, I still have, you know, I don't use drugs, but if were I to start, I think it would be a real quick downhill slide. Um, you know, as my friend, as my friend Carl says, everything I own fits in the pipe. <laughs> you know, and it's true. Pipe, you know, whatever it is, whatever you're into. Um, anyway, the, the the topic was rebellion, as I say, and uh, it's a fascinating topic because you say, well, what is rebellion? And uh, rebellion comes in a lot of forms. Like for some people, it's it's uh, rebellion is as simple as I don't like authority. I don't like people telling me what to do. But I have internal rebellion, you know. Um, there was somebody there last night, too, who also made the good point that not all rebellion is bad. America was started by people, by rebels, by people who said, we're not going to do this anymore and we're going to find a different way, right? Uh, great movements have been started. The suffragette movement was a rebellion. As women said, we deserve the right to to, to uh, vote. Uh, the a a abolition of slavery was a rebellion where, where they said, we, this is wrong and we can't do this anymore. This is ridiculous. And so these were these were very positive rebellions. But usually, when we talk about rebellion on a personal level, it, it's it's some of the negative things that we do to ourselves, right? And the way that we 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 rebel against what is actually in our best interest to do. <laughs> and uh, some of that rebellion, I, I remember once, and I, I told this story. Is uh, I, I was in the when I was in the military, I was in the Air Force, and I was stationed at Lowry Air Force Base, which is closed. Most of the bases I was closed at. Do you know that they closed the bases after I left? I don't know if I should take that personal or not, but I did a, lot, a long stint at Lowry, and I was at McClellan Air Force Base in Sacramento. Both of those are cl like were closed down right after I left. I, I don't know if they try to tell me to burn this thing to the ground. You know. Anyway, there was a tech sergeant. It was the weekend, and I was in tech school. It was a very long. I was there for almost a year. It was a uh, um, satellite communications that I worked in in the Air Force. And uh, there was a tech sergeant. It was a Saturday morning, and I'm I'm ready to go. We're going out. We're going to go hang out. I was in Denver. It was beautiful, man. We used to go up to Loveland Pass. I camped, went camping a lot of weekends and stuff. So it was nice. And I, I, I really felt it was my time. Like, yeah, I signed a contract with the Air Force, but it's the Air Force. It's not like it's the real military, right? And I didn't like to shave on the weekends, but we were required to shave every day as, as, as young airmen, right? I had one stripe, I think, at the time. And uh, I had a tech sergeant. That's five stripes. Five is more than one, if you're doing the math. And he and he called me over. He saw me. He says, Airman Gillespie, uh, front and center, you know. And I said, yes, uh, sir, uh, sergeant, tech sergeant. Anyway, <laughs> he said, you didn't shave. He said, and I said, but it's Saturday. Like, you know, like, what? he says, no, no, you are required. And he was one of those guys who was by the book. And I, I can see his face. I wish I could remember his name because he wasn't wrong. I want to say it was Hartwell or Heart Heart Tack or something, something along the Heart. It was Heart something. I remember saying, anyway, anyway, neither here nor there. Um, but he said, "Go shave and then report back to me right before I could go anywhere." And we're we're going out. I, so I go back in. We can beep that, right? I go back into the barracks and 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 I shaved. 
half my face. Yeah. Comedian. And I went out, <laughs> I was like, okay, I shaved. And he said, I don't think you're funny. And, and I am, though, <laughs> in, in, def- in my own defense. I thought it was pretty funny. And my buddies, they all laughed. They were rolling. <laughs> but he didn't think it was funny. And instead of going away, because as I recall, it was a three-day weekend as well. And what this tech sergeant had me do instead of going camping with my friends up in Loveland Pass was to pick up all the cigarette butts around Lowry Air Force Base and uh, for 72 hours. That's what that's what I had to do. And <laughs> it sucked, you know. But it was just that rebellious nature. Like, who are you to tell me what to do? Like, how, how, how dare? Well, he, he was in perfect authority to tell me what to do. I just didn't feel that I should have to do it because that's my time. And he corrected me on that. But... um. You know, and that's one instance of, of of this of this rebellious nature that I have, and rebellion comes subtly as well. And, and I remember I had my friend Anthony, right, and and uh, we're going over this because I, I do this this work, this self help work, right, and and it was, it was a workbook I was working out of, and they ask you a whole bunch of questions and stuff like that. And it, it, there was a question in there about rebellion, and it dealt with rebellion. I don't remember exactly how it was worded, but I really didn't understand it. I'm like, what are they talking about rebellion? Like, I'm in recovery now. I'm not, you know, I'm not using drugs. I'm not. I, I stopped doing heroin. I stopped. You know, I wasn't even smoking anymore. I quit smoking, and like rebellion. I'm not. Well, how am I rebelling? And I call my friend Anthony. I say, I say, Anthony, I don't explain this to me. I don't understand it. And and now you gotta understand at the time I'm really battling weight. Like I've been I battled my weight for a long time. Food, food was another addiction for me, right? And at the time he knew I was trying to do this particular weight loss program. It wasn't going too good. <laughs> and I was away because uh, I, I did this thing. Um I used to uh, sponsor men, uh sponsor kind of like men, a mentoring program. It was called the Queen's Area Outreach Program where I mentored a lot of men in prison and, uh, and I would write to them and they'd write to me and it was to try, it was, it was an effort and I, I was able to help a couple of people, I think. Uh, one of them I'm still in touch with all these years later. Uh, but anyway, it was a mentoring program. I, I, I would write to these guys and try to encourage them to, to get off of drugs before they got released from prison because one of the biggest reasons for recidivism in, in, in prison is, is drug use. You know, guys go back to doing drugs they get caught up in some stuff and they wind up, you know, putting a gun in somebody's face or whatever it is and they go back to jail. So I, I was working with these guys and this particular one, guy that I was working with, he was in Pittsburgh, SCI Pittsburgh, uh, which is a prison house, you know, in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I went out there to see him because he's a nice guy. We'd been corresponding for about two years or whatever. And I said, yeah, you know, I'd like to come meet you. And I did. So I drove out there with a friend of mine, Tony, who's he's peace passed away. God rest his soul. Um, but anyway, Tony and I are out there and we're out in Pittsburgh. We're going to, cause he had a guy he was writing to out there as well. And we go in, uh, you know, so, so we're on the road and, and Anthony says, you know, when I'm asking him about this rebellion, he says, where are you right now? I said, I'm, I'm outside and I hop. I love I hop, by the way, best pancakes in the world. Like the, the, uh, heaven on earth. I love I hop pancakes. Anthony says, uh, what are you doing in IHOP? I thought you were trying to, you know, this diet thing. Oh, no, Anthony. Ah, oh, no, I'm going to go into IHOP <laughs> and I'm going to order a fruit salad. And he said, that's rebellion. I said, what do you mean that's rebellion? I'm going to go in and I'm going to eat a fruit salad. And he said, no, you're not. He said, you're telling yourself you're going to go in there and, and, and get a fruit salad. He said, you may even order a fruit salad. He said, but Dwight, you love IHOP pancakes. Why would you put yourself in a position where you're going to, at, at the very minimum, have to sit there and smell everybody else's IHOP pancakes that you love so much. Oh, you're wrong. You're wrong, Anthony. You're wrong. <laughs> and I went in and I, I ordered a fruit cup. And before it, it even got to the table, I'm looking around. My favorite thing at IHOP, by the way, is the country fried uh, chicken with, with, with scrambled eggs and pancakes. And... Guess what? Guess what? Before the fruit cup can't guess what I get. Guess what happened? Guess, guess. I got you. Got it. Excuse me, miss. Could you come here a second? Yeah. Oh, I still want the fruit cup, sure. Because I told Anthony I was going to order it. Could you also bring me that 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 chicken fried, uh, uh, country fried chicken or whatever the? F- it, country, yeah, country fried. Well, no. Oh, yeah, it was steak. It was a chicken. Anyway. Country fried steak with the gravy. I said, and bring a little extra of the gravy too, because I put it on. 
<laughs> scrambled eggs, you know, and put the pancakes on the other because I, for some reason, I don't like to mix the syrup with the. <laughs> and that's rebellion. And I do that in so many areas of my life. Here's, here's another rebellion, right? I have, I have a nice apartment. You know, it's a decent. I like it. I'm comfortable. This is part of my apartment right here. This is my office area. Whoop, easy now. Let's not get, let's not get crazy. Uh, this is my office. And um, my, my, my apartment reflects my mood a lot of times. When it's clean, things are usually going good. But I'm not a dirty guy because I hate bugs. I live in New York City and you get roaches like, like that. Uh, so you're not going to find like that kind of stuff around. But I'm messy. You know, I have a hat collection. Uh, you see on some videos I wear them. I have uh, I have stuff. I'm a big knickknack guy. Uh, I clothes, I shoes, like all these stuff. And when it's all over the place, you know. So here's the rebellion. Rebellion is like, I really, I really need to do this. I really need to clean my apartment. Right. I'm just going to play one game of this. Who wants to be a millionaire on my phone, right? You know, and... and and knowing, like, I got all these things to do. And I'll even make a list. I, I have them here. You see? Yeah, I'll show you this. I keep this close by, right? This is this is a to-do list. You see this? To-do. To-do. Yeah, to-do. And I do them. You see, I use a lot of them, right? And this isn't the first one. And I go through these paths. And I'll actually write it out. Like, I need to do these things. And 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 then I, as soon as I fill the list out, I go, but first... <laughs> First, let's sit down because, you know, I, I play these games, right? And, and every day you get fr free points. You know, you got, I got, it's a crossword game. And every day, like if I got, I get 20 free points and the points you get free letters and stuff like this. And, and I'd just be an idiot if I didn't log on every day and get my free point. I, yeah, I'm not going to play the game. I'm just going to go on and get my free points. And that's the rebellion. That's the rebellion, right? Because I know, I know damn well. That once I go on there, I'm gonna ah oh, just play a couple rounds, especially honestly the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game, you know, because they get free points there too, and I gotta beat the next person out because I I know I'm smarter than that person, and then I lose that one. Ah, oh, there's a fix, you know, there's, there's a, they got the answer wrong, and and I have to go until it's right. Yeah, that only makes sense. And meanwhile, you know, because I get up every day, I'm up between six and six thirty every day uh, on a, on a fairly regular basis. And, um, and you know, when I, when I do these things and when I'm in that, in that space, when I'm being very rebellious with myself, you look up and all of a sudden it's quarter to 11 and I got deadlines. Like I got people, I, I, I wrote, I wrote my book. You can get it on amazon.com. Um, oh my God, price tags. <laughs> I forgot the name of my own book. It's a really good book. It's a memoir. You know, you can read it. Uh, it's available on Amazon. Um, so, and I'm writing a second book. I'm, I'm almost done with it. It's fiction. It's it's really good book anyway. It's sex, drugs, rock and roll. How can you go wrong, right? Uh, you know, and I'm finishing that. And I I write for this. I write for the podcast. I write a blog. I I do all of these things, and and they got to get done. Like you got deadlines. You know, you tell people, oh, you're gonna, I'm going to put post this every Tuesday, or you know, for this particular channel, we do uh, this one's done every Sunday. You know, uh, something has to go out, so you got a deadline. For my other channel, the 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 uh, Trash TV Review goes out every Thursday, right? Walter does it. I have to be on. I don't really do it. But I get it done though. I'm the one like I, I'm I'm here. I'm I'm the one on the camera, right? So I gotta do this stuff, you know? And uh and I sit there and it's it's rebellion. And that goes into something we're gonna talk about later, which is fear of success. And I know people say, well, who, who's afraid of success? Yes, yeah, you know. Anyway, we're gonna get into that one later. But the, the rebellion is is really good because again, rebellion can come in such subtle forms, and that's a subtle form of rebellion. You know, because I sit there and I'm like, I really got to get this done. I really got to get this done. And then I sit there and waste my time, you know, or, or uh, I, I, I have sometimes I spend too much money. I, I, I spend, I always, and this, and it's true because it comes down to this. I spend money I don't have on shit that I don't need, right? And I do that. And I'm, it's Amazon. Oh God, a prime. I, I don't, but I don't, I'm not paying shipping. That means it's free. <laughs> No, no, no. It doesn't mean it's free. It means you're not paying shipping. It means they're charging you so much for that item that they don't have to charge you for shipping. <laughs> That's what that means. And I can delude myself in thinking that I'm just going to go on and look at the box scores from the Met game last night and that I'm not going to sneak over to Amazon or wasting time. No offense because, I, I, you know, listen, don't let me knock it. 
YouTube, you know, going down that, I call it the YouTube rabbit hole, you know, and I'm just going to watch, a, you know, because I have people that I like on there. I have, you know, like, I hope you like me. I like other people and I go and I watch them regularly. And some of them, it's good because it helps me to to make me better in, in my craft here and what I do. But a lot of it is just bone. To, to, to rot my mind and I go down that rabbit hole you know so we were talking before about watching this one of my favorite ki- types of videos to watch is busted you know people who are cheating on their significant others and get caught and I love the ones where the chick comes up and just dumps a whole soda over the ass head you know you know, catches them you know who's in the both the girls are going who's this you know like I love that that's great and uh anyway but these are, these are the rebellions that I have in my life. Like I know, like I, I make lists of things to do and then I try to prioritize it. And then because that was so much work to sit there and make the list and prioritize it, that of course I deserve a break. <laughs> like who wouldn't, you know, like, you know, and, and so much more could get done if I would just do it. And, and, th- and it does bring up different reasons of why is this rebelliousness happening? Because I think that there's a, a lot more to it. And I remember telling a friend, I says, you know, I just think I'm so lazy. And she said, you're not lazy. I mean, you do these things. You do your podcast. You wrote, you wrote a book. You wrote, like you do these things. It's just, there's something else going on there. There's something else behind these rebellions, you know, uh, the, 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 whether it's a fear of success. And I'm a big believer in that. And we're going to get into that on the next video. I don't want to, I don't want to cross too many lines with that, right? Because that's another great podcast in itself. Because it's not, just, it's a fear of success. It's a fear of failure. It all combines. And I, I, and we'll get into that later, right? I'm not going to, I don't want to, because then I'll go off on another tangent, as maybe you know that I am want to do from time to time. But we're going to end it on that note. And again, by all means, please comment on this, right? Let me know what you think. If you disagree, especially, I love to, to get into to good conversations about, you know, different ways of doing things, different ways of looking at things. That's how I learn. I learn from you. Because the opposite of rebellion, as somebody said, somebody said it uh, last night, I heard it, and I, th- I, th- I said it, 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 it's genius. See, because people say, I'm a rebel, you know, I don't, eh. people think the opposite of rebellion is conformity, and it's not. The opposite of rebellion is open-mindedness right? It's becoming open to new things. It's not necessarily conforming, but being open to a different way of looking things. You see, and when I start to take that into mind, and I'll I'll, I'll end on this, right? Because I almost forgot. I had it in my notes. (laughs) I wrote the notes. Is that idea of of conformity, I think, is one of the things that bothers me. I don't want to be a conformist. I don't want to be like everybody else, right? But sometimes you have to be, you know? Um, But it's not conformity. It's open-mindedness. It's opening myself to a different way of living. It's opening myself to a different way of thinking. And we say, you know, you you, you don't act yourself in, into, or you don't think yourself into a new way of acting. You act yourself into a new way of thinking. And that can only happen with open-mindedness and understanding that this is really good for me and that I need to begin. And it's always a beginning. In, in one of the one of the last podcasts we did, we talked about the fifty one forty nine principle, right? And, and part of rebelliousness is getting over that hump and making sure that at least fifty one percent of yourself wants to do something, and that can that can at least put a big dent in that rebelliousness and get you started on that road to making making that and expanding that so that you you are all in on something. And I'm sure you have examples in your life where you've done that, whether it's with family, with friends, whatever it is, with a project that you were you were you were you were uh, slow to start on, but once you started on, it was like, yeah, why didn't I start this earlier, right? And you can use that to motivate motivate yourself to end the other rebellions that you may feel yourself going through in other areas and aspects of your life. And maybe when you can do that, maybe things get a little bit better. It's a process, right? As my man Stephen Covey says, we, we, we change the paradigm, we change how we look at ourselves, and, and the changes are gradual, and, and, and it doesn't necessarily happen overnight, but it has to start somewhere. And it can start by ending that rebellion in yourself. My name is Dwight Gillespie. I want to thank you again for tuning in. Again, comment, share, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, you know, let people know. And uh, again, I hope you tune in again. I hope you got something out of this. Be well, have a great week, and thanks for tuning in. Bye now.